problems and headaches is all my new computer has given me lately regarding temperature. Most people would say that it is fault of the case and its size, but it's more about the CPU design than anything else. And this doesn't mean we can't fix it. After reading your comments, many of you suggested that I had to change the case, saying it wasn't worth it, or some of you simply recommended liquid metal. While it's very good at transferring heat, I don't think it's a good solution due to the risk of having a conductive liquid inside the system. But among many suggestions, there was one that stood out several times. Using thermal pads. As far as I knew, they were somewhat worse than thermal paste. But thanks to a video from another Spanish YouTuber, I saw that there are new graphene thermal pads, which are even better at conducting heat than thermal paste. To begin with, the thermal conductivity of thermal paste makes it a good and cheap application. However, since it's not the most practical solution, thermal pads with similar capacities were introduced. Yet, when compared to liquid metal, both look insignificant. But even liquid metal fails in comparison to graphene with its extraordinary thermal capacity. However, let's not be too optimistic. These graphene pads are mostly made of polycarbonate with a percentage of graphene to make them easier to handle, which results in a middle range solution, but one that prior to using it seems a better choice. The problem we originally had was that during any activity the processor would reach 100 degrees, and because of that we were losing performance. With a lot of tweaking and a better heatsink we managed to lower it a bit, 15 degrees with some minor temperature spikes. Although we all know these aren't temperatures we like to see, following the manufacturer guidelines it's fully operational and there wouldn't be any issues. But let's see if we can take better care of our components. It's true that we managed to lower the temperatures by reducing the processor's TDP losing some performance in the process. If, on the other hand, we leave the CPU at stock settings, while gaming, it stays around 90 to 95 degrees. So then I ended up buying two thermal pads which are undoubtedly very expensive. Each one cost me around 30 euros, which is a big difference compared to the 5 to 10 euros that a good brand of thermal paste costs me here. Which isn't for a single use, but let's hope the price is justified. To do it properly then, I'm going to disassemble the entire motherboard, then remove the heatsink and finally very carefully remove the ICH, which is this plate that this processor has and it's one of a kind. It's not usually common unless you have one of these motherboards with laptop CPUs. I'm removing it basically because I want to change and clean the thermal paste that connects the CPU with the ICH. It would be like doing a delete in some way. Then to apply the thermal pad you have to be very careful because graphene is conductive just like liquid metal, but its advantage is that it is in a solid state, so the best thing to do is to cut it so that it only touches the surface of the CPU. For this I bought the 38x38mm unit. With this and being careful not to move it, we screwed the ICH back, specially tightening carefully in an X pattern. And finally we just need to add the graphene thermal pad to this part. To be sure I bought the 50x50mm unit, and I'll place it on the top without cutting anything because I have plenty of space here. With this we can close it up and see if it has made any difference. With the CPU at stock settings, we can see that in Apex Legends, without being a task that requires much from it, it used to be at 90 degrees. Because of this, I reduced the TDP from 95 to 70 watts, along with a more aggressive fan curve made with fan control. That in the case you don't know about it, it's for me the best software to control fans. This is not any sponsor, it's just my opinion and it's free software. So the temperatures dropped while maintaining the same performance, at least in games. Still, I didn't like having to sacrifice that performance in other tasks. And after considering options and now with these thermal pads installed, now with the CPU at its stock TDP of 95 watts, the temperature has reduced without sacrificing performance. And in this simple way, we've lowered the temperatures from 95 to 75 degrees. In Cinebench Air 23, we already got a good score before, but reaching the thermal throttle and with a pretty high average temperature. Now we get a slightly better score, but with quite different temperatures, the maximum being 87 degrees, which although it might seem hot to many of you, it's totally acceptable and fully functional. I could even reduce the TDP back to the 70 watts like before, and the maximum temperature now would be 73 degrees, although sacrificing some performance again in tasks dependent on the CPU. But for example, in games we wouldn't see much different in either performance or temperatures. Before using these thermal pads, even in Windows tasks, we would sporadically hit the thermal throttle in Windows. Let's remember that this is a 3900K, and keeping its temperatures under control is already a challenge itself. Adding the mini ITX factor makes it an even harder achievement. And with this, there's only one concern left. 
when do I need to change these thermal pads again? Because of how expensive they are, I hope it's not too often. Well, don't worry about that, because graphene pads neither dry out nor degrade over time, or so says Google. So we shouldn't need to worry about maintenance. Although, it's never a bad idea to check on it from time to time when we take care of that dust inside the computer. But now, we have a system that requires less maintenance, and if we open it, we won't be getting thermal paste everywhere, and it will be much more practical. Additionally, we're not sacrificing on temperature, as it happened with the first thermal patch that came to the market. It's simply better in every aspect, and even though it's a bit expensive, if the lifespan is long enough, it will be worth it. And to be clear, this is not any kind of sponsor or promo, it's something I found that was a solution for me and my problems. And with that said, I hope this has been helpful for you, I'll leave links down below in the description, and I will see you in the next one. Un saludo.